Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Terrell here. Uh, I, I know a lot of people were asking I need to do a, like a video on my fall 2011 picks and it's the, essentially what this vlog is going to be is an update of the ones I'm watching now like my halfway impressions because I don't feel the need to do a, a, a video for each. There's no reason to considering I'm only mainly positive for the most part on one of them whereas the other two I just have a mix of things to say um, and then on top of that you know it's you know I might as well do the fall of 2011 stuff so let's start with the halfway impressions for people who don't know I guess technically I'm watching a whole bunch of simulcasts, but I guess I should it's mainly about Mayo Chiki Mar, Mayo German Manu, but for anyone who wants to know, I'm still watching Blue Exorcist, I'm still enjoying the shit out of that. I only keep up with One Piece anime, I don't really keep up with Naruto anime, and I don't really get a lot of shit for that. I haven't kept, to be honest with simulcast-wise, I haven't kept up with Naruto, period. Um, I forget, like, I, I casually watch random episodes of Naruto when they come out weekly, when I give a shit, honestly. Uh, like, I watched a random episode when I watched the episode where Amoy was introduced in the anime. Uh, no, it's the episode where, uh, I forget the girl's name. The girl that hangs out with Kari, with uh, Amoy, and, uh, Samoy, I forget, I, I don't hear, I haven't heard her name in a while, so I don't fucking remember it. And Beast of Shadow and Naruto, I watched that one randomly, but I don't really simulcast with Naruto or Bleach. I haven't watched Bleach, period, since, I think I watched the random Eyes and Ichigo fights. I think those were the, like, the only episodes I actually gave a shit about in Japanese. And in English, I haven't kept up since the middle of that stupid Captain Namaga filler arc, which I'm pretty sure we're out of by now. I'm not just been sure. I haven't been fucking keeping up, and I don't give a shit about Bleach anymore. So, yeah, but anyways, I've wasted two minutes, so let's go ahead and talk about the other, you know, the seasonal ones I am watching. Okay, the first thing I'm going to address is, out of the three of these, the one I'm still fairly happy with and still my favorite currently is Mayo Chiki. I'm still enjoying the shit out of that series. Now, mind you... The last, I'm not gonna say, the last two episodes haven't been as good as the rest of the series has been, and no, and it's for different reasons. Like the, okay, currently, I have seen ten episodes for Mayo Chiki, and this is on Tuesday, and I'm pretty sure this won't even get uploaded until like I watch the eleventh, ironically. And I don't, I checked, I don't even know how many episodes Mayo Chiki is supposed to have. If it's supposed to have thirteen. I feel like it wasted episodes, it wasted like a few episodes, which to me seems kind of ridiculous, but, and let me explain. The ninth and 10th episode of Mayo Chigi, uh, the ninth one centers around Usami, kind of, and introduces the cafe that she works at, whereas the 10th one in focuses on Korea and her birthday, even though Jiro is barely in that episode, and it's literally just kind of a whole bunch of flashbacks birthday shit for Korea, which I thought was a little weird. They're not bad episodes, but like, the ninth one was still enjoyable. Uh, the tenth one just came off really, like, what the fuck random to me, because it didn't have anything to do with anything. And even the ninth one was still a little canon, even though Kanoe is not in it that much because of, uh, because of, they're at the cafe, they're at, like a girl cafe, and he, and Kanoe, and uh, who, Suzuki ditches Kanoe like during the middle of it and fucking uh, leaves him in, in a like random butler restaurant. Like it still has some candy in it because they they readdressed the whole I didn't want to be just friends. Kanoe lied to Jiro and was like, I want to be more than friends. It's like I want I want I don't I want to be more than friends. I want to be best friends. Like we totally knew that that's what she was thinking, right? No, no. It's, she, she, she's a girl, so the shyness is still there, which I thought was cute. Korea shit was, although it was nice character development, it was kind of like the character development, I, I was like, what the fuck, because she, at that point, she's only been set up as a character who loves her brother, but it's kind of retarded. So it was like, eh, whatever. But, I mean, man, she can still enjoyable shit. I mean, I still think it's a really enjoyable uh, harem slash romance or whatnot. And then we go to Mawara Penguin Drum, which I said was going to be this season's what the fuck anime. And it is. It, it totally is. I've watched, uh, I believe, nine episodes come out of there because I believe one of the weeks 
Mayo Chiki came out, it didn't come out, which I'm, which may have been just some broadcasting shit, but whatever. More Bingo Drum is kind of gotten to the point where it's like, it's bearable, but barely. Like, the, the thing that's keeping me into Moir Bingo Drum, honestly, is what the fuck is going to happen? Like, what the fuck is this going? And then I found out recently, it's not having 13 episodes, it's going to have 24, and I was like, oh, fuck me. Even though they addressed almost all the shit with Rango, uh, except for the, you know, the whole Shoma getting hit by a car bullshit, uh, and then how the last episode had nothing to deal with that. The last episode was literally, quote unquote, a dream sequence where we get backstory on Himari, which I was, I didn't mind. And we get to know the two girls you see with her in the ending, which I didn't mind that either. And at the end of it, she, she, she's dreaming and she wakes up and here Shoma has been hit by a car. And during all this, we still don't know what the fuck Kamba Kam is. I, I mean, most people assume that Kamba's the dude who was on the motorcycle who like, stole her book. That's the assumption. Uh, Ringo's a bitch. I want that to be noted right here. Like, a lot of people... I know DK Joss and uh, Crazy Kogun. I still like calling her Team Chibi. I'm sorry. <laughs> like Ringo as a kid. I can't, I can't I fucking stand her. And I think the reasoning behind why people like her now is because she's so different from other females. And that's her appeal. But to me, that's not a legitimate appeal. That just means she's only appealing to you because she's fresh and new. Like a couch. Or a fucking new pair of shoes and shit. And then after you see her enough times, she becomes old and redundant. And then Lolly becomes fresh and new. Like, I don't... She, she, she comes... She's a horrible character. She's a horrible character to me. Like, she... Like, mindset personality, and just her bullshit. She's supposed to be funny in some sense. I'm hoping she's supposed to be funny. She's supposed to be funny with the stupid little random mind brain fart she has where she starts predicting everything in like 2D paper fucking imaginary fairy tale time. I need to say Tabuki from Crazy Evil Lady even though there has been no hint of her being Crazy Evil Lady at all. And it's supposed to be funny. It's not funny. It's, I just find it annoying as hell. The funniest parts to me involving Ringo is when she gets burned. It, it, it's like, that's literally, I laughed at her reaction when she found out that Tabuki was getting married. And then I just called her a crazy bitch because she drugged him and Shoma and tried to fuck him. And I like how she had no, and it's like she. A horrible fucking character. Just a horrible character. She's on some stupid sub. Plus that, the fact, the other thing I hate about, that really pisses me off about the show, is that it's on this whole fate bullshit. That everything is destined and fate. The one thing I can't stand in anime is when they fucking do the whole destined shit and fate and chosen shit. Why do you think I'm a little mildly annoyed at the whole chosen one thing Naruto's picked up lately? I'm not a fan of shit being determined for you, because it annoys the crap out of me. Maybe it's because I'm a, I'm not I'm not a Christian and I'm an agnostic, but I just don't like the whole thing. Everything is planned out. This is going to happen. Bullshit. Because it sounds retarded. It's like humans have enough problems in daily life in, instead of you telling me everything I have left is scripted. It's like what the fuck? I'm sorry. That just really pissed me off. Mind you, I'm kind of, at this point, the redeeming factors are other characters. Like, I love Shoma. Kamba's kind of ticking me off because he's not doing anything. Himari's enjoyable. It's getting a little bit more enjoyable for me. And I'm interested in this character in her mind, or the character with the books and shit. Um, and I am interested in Kamba's girlfriend, too. So, this, this thing's keeping me interested, but god damn it, fuck Ringo with... Ringo can go die in a fight. I don't give a fuck if she's new and interesting. She's still fucking annoying as shit. That doesn't take that doesn't do anything for a character. That just means for you, she's fresh and new. And you know what? Fine, you can like Ringo. But to me personally, Ringo can go die in a fire. Ringo can kill herself. And if Ringo had got hit by that car, I would have been the happiest motherfucker. I feel bad because Shoma gets cheated. I, I feel so fucking bad. But we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. And mind you, oh my god, mind you. <sighs> Fuck it. 
Mario to me at this point is like a guilty pleasure. It's a it, this is Mario to me is probably one of those few itchies that has the level of Queen's Blades ri ridiculous retarded shit. But it pisses me off more with this show because this show had the potential to actually accomplish something. Because it's about women being objectified as objects. And it's it's one of those things that can either be empowering the women or show or kind of push the whole idea, have a strong female protagonist. I like her ideals. She doesn't bother me as a character. But when you take... This show managed to take away the, the, the emotional attachment I could have had with the sister reunion episode because the because the episode because the scene that this shit happens in is around around an episode that has to deal with tit mountains and stacking boobs up on a fucking rock and fucking it's like it's such a it's, it's like a mountain tit joke on top of that then on top of that the, the training is such bullshit and the characters are bullshit and then they fucking do the stupid thing where they have her mom they have Chifuya have like this weird problem where she has some type of envious shit towards her mother's tits and it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like literally, like that's the problem. That's my biggest problem with mind you. It's just like what the fuck am I watching? What the fuck am I watching? Like it's it, it pisses me off because it has its moments. It has its moments. Like I thought the reunion sister shit was cool, even though I know the manga is so much better than the show. And this is what pisses me off. The show has a deep fucking message. It has something, could, like, the, the series itself has a deep message. I've looked at the manga. The manga, I think, takes the route the anime should have. But you know why the anime doesn't take the fucking route? It's because it's revolved around tits. So, obviously, you have to focus every fucking thing about the show on the tits. And the manga looks like it could have actually done some, you know, societal good. The whole judging women by their chests, thinking of them as objects, trying to create a world where people just view women as women and not as fucking, view women as people and not fucking tits and how big your tits are. It's it's fucking, and it's it's annoying. It's annoying because it's, it's wasted potential. It's not like Queen's Blade or Icky Tosin where there was nothing out of those shows. This legitimately is one of those shows that has its fun moments but it can never be taken seriously because of its own, because of the theme, because of the one, the, the gimmick that the manga had, they decided to focus the entirety of the anime on. And I'm talking about the tits in general. I'm talking about the fact that it's a world ruled by tits, and they don't do it the right way. And then on top, yeah, that's essentially what it is. They, they, they do it in the fun, itchy way, in the, in the perverted way. They don't do it the, the dark, gritty, fucked up, rape way. Or the, uh, you know, j just the more realistic one. Not the fuck that. Like, not every guy's a tit crazed madman. I will I will say one thing, though. What the problems I do have with this show, fucking the funniest. Not that the episode I just watched. I just watched episode 9. Episode 8 has one of the funniest fucking scenes in it. Where you have a man going around taking people out with a sword like a badass. And he's screaming boobs the entire fucking time. I'm not gonna lie, like it's 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 ridiculous and annoying. Certain things in the show are. God damn it, that was that was, that was by far one of the funniest fucking scenes. Jesus Christ, I would not be shocked if there if there's actually a uh, a scene dedicated like if someone took made that a meme because or a fucking gif because Jesus Christ, that was funny. Oh man, but that this is essentially what it is. It's it's mildly fun but a little aggravating. Um, it's, like, if I had the Jersey shows right now, mine you gets like, a, a six, just because of, the, because of the fact they had a premise they could have ran with, and it, and the animators were, like, the, the TV people and the animators were like, no, nope, we're just gonna take the straight itchy route, get all the breast infant expansion friends in this bitch, you know, we're just gonna run with the stupid shit. Warping a drum is, like, a, a seven, Right now, because it's mildly interesting, but it, it it focused way too much on that one fucking character that really pissed me off. And I'm pretty sure it'll probably go up to like an 8. Probably an 8. I'm not even like I ever get this thing like a 9. Because you could, I could never rewatch that first portion. Just even even if Ringo were to be fucked over in later episodes, I still couldn't watch this. I couldn't, 
this is not more opinion your drum isn't a rewatch anime. Mayo Cheeky and Mind You are, even though Mind You's probably for the wrong fucking reasons. I couldn't rewatch any of the episodes of More Heart Pinger Drum. Purely because either they're really depressing or they piss me off because Ringo's in them. There are scenes I would love to see, re-see, like the scene where Possessed Himari calls Ringo a slut. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Literally almost all the all Ringo moments. Like, I would totally make a compilation and be like, best moments in my opinion. And it's all her getting burned. Like, that, that's... This is literally the only thing I will rewatch from that show. May Mayo Cheek is still my favorite. I still give it an eight. Even though even though personally I'm a little I hope this is I'm assuming this is thirteen episodes. If this is twenty six, well holy shit, but if it, if it's if it's twenty six this make the, the last episode makes sense, but if it's thirteen, I'm just like, damn, you wasted an episode. But that's my thoughts on that, and I've literally wasted sixteen minutes tirading about those three shows. Uh, I know a lot, and I guess I'll mention Blue Exorcist real quick. A lot of people are telling me that Blue Exorcist is in filler right now, and I don't give a fuck because the filler is enjoyable as hell. Um, mainly it's because I found out from Sam that Blue Exorcist is a monthly manga series, which is probably why they're slowing the fuck down. And I heard that this se it's only this, se this thing's only supposed to have like one season. Right now, the season ends at 24 episodes, and we're at what, episode 22 tomorrow? Oh, fuck it. I'm still getting the sub DVDs. I don't give a shit. I enjoyed the hell out of the series. If it doesn't get a season two, I don't understand why it wouldn't. But if it doesn't, hold the fuck well. But goddamn it, if it gets a season two, my god, if it gets a season two, fucking happy days. But I wasted enough time on that. For anyone who was still watching, thank you. And we will now get to the fall anime 2011 portion of this video. I apologize. Hopefully that won't be as short. All right, to go through the shit I'm watching. I got the little list behind me, so give me a second while I scroll through it. And watch this not be all of it. I'll be really pissed. I know a few of the shows, but I want to make sure. Okay, the first thing I'm watching is working season two. They actually did the preview episode, which apparently in Japan is what they do, where they air like the full first episode of the second season, but don't like as a preview until October, I believe, is when working comes out. Yeah, October. Um, I'm looking forward to that. In all honesty, the only thing I was a little mad about actually in the first episode of season two, the preview one anyway, they don't, they still didn't introduce the glasses chick in that episode. The glasses chick or supposed new characters I saw in like just small animated previews that were like a minute and a half. Uh, there's also Squid Girl season two coming out and I can't watch that because I still haven't seen season one, which I'm actually buying the DVDs for, so the dub for it, so we'll see how that goes. Future Diary is finally fucking coming out. This one's confirmed because there's an actual cast and everything. Like, they've actually confirmed everything, like the cast and shit. I will probably be doing reviews of that one, depending on how it comes out. If it comes out, like, on, I'm hoping this one comes out on the legal site. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to do reviews of that one, but I may not keep them up. That's my biggest thing with that one, because for anyone who doesn't realize, Future Diary is a depressing-ass show. And rewatching that shit animated is probably going to bug the fuck out of me. Uh, the next thing that comes out, I, I'm not a huge Persona. I, my friends are Persona fans, but I'm not, so. No, no Persona. I <laughs> um, also heard there's a, a, a Lupin the Third reboot coming out. Now, I don't know this Lupin the Third, if it's like the reboot of the entire series or if it's just uh, like a continuation. If it's the reboot of the entire series, I'll totally want to watch that. For anyone, So for any Lupin the Third fans, please let me know, because I'm. I've, I've seen clips of the of the old version in the English dub of it, and I thought it was okay. So if the if the new series is like a reboot, I totally watch that because I'm a little I've been a little curious in the show. The same thing, I am gonna watch the Hunter x Hunter reboot for anyone who wants to know. Pokemon season two, that's, that should be a fucking given. Come on, it's me. Jesus, I I got I, I pre-ordered the fuck out of that DVD already. Damn it! You know I was gonna fucking watch the season two of that bitch. I mean, for for God's sake, in the fucking in the end of that damn review, I was like, it needs a season two and a dub. And I was like, yes, it's good as dub. I mean, we knew it was going to get season two a while ago. Um, for anyone who wonders, I have seen the Astaroth's toy OVA. Man, I kind of treat Astaroth's toy like fucking uh, Toradora. Because I didn't like the romantic ending at the end of it, it takes away from the series, essentially to me. So... 
while the OVA is kind of dumb and it takes away from me, surprisingly they didn't focus on any love and I'm so happy. It's like three little short stories essentially. It's like Zelda's meeting of uh, of uh, Lotte, which I thought was alright. Asaha Panty Ray, which was kind of weird. Uh, and we find out Judith is a masochist, even though we knew that. And, uh, oh, we got to see how, uh, Marcelda, you know, is that her name? Yeah, Prince, Queen Marcelda and, uh, little Naya met. Naya? Yeah. Which was actually pretty cute up until the rape scene. Which was actually handled fairly well. Um, apparently there's going to be an All My Goddess over there. Which I'm not fucking with that, because I haven't seen All My Goddess. No, even for that. Because... I'm not emotionally prepared for that, and I can't watch All oh My Goddess in Japanese. I haven't watched All oh My Goddess in Japanese at all. There's an Infinite Stratos OVA, which maybe, maybe, I, I, I can really just say maybe for that. It's not like, it's not a huge deal, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of, I mean, Infinite Stratos was okay. It's just the fact that you focused on one girl. For the more, like you, like for the most, the series mainly focused for one chick. In terms of uh, development, so it was like, eh, maybe, not really give a damn. And I'm looking to see that it actually had to switch sites because I don't know that's all of everything. Cause it was like a whole bunch of season twos of shit. I know Cora Wild Zombie Jessica is getting the season two, but I don't think that comes out now. I'm actually scrolling now. So it's like Working Season 2, Future Diary, Bakuman Season 2, uh, Loop on the Third, possibly, Hunter x Hunter Reboot. I feel like I'm missing something. I really do. It's going to bother me if I don't remember. Is that really all I, I can think of right now? And of course, when you go on anime sites, you obviously get the obvious hot girl ad. That might be it. And in terms of episode reviews, I'll probably do Future Diary for a little while. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep up Future Diary, because Future Diary gets really depressing really quick. Uh, and it gets really fucked up. There are very few happy scenes, and that's if they stick to the manga. I'm pretty sure that, I know it's going to be edited down like hell. There's a lot of fucked up shit that happens in uh, Future Diary. It's not even worse because the manga is finished, and the anime... I'm assuming it's going to cover everything. If it does, it's going to be fun. Um, uh, Give me one sec, guys. I'm just trying to see if that's everything. That might be everything. I can't watch Squid, I can't watch Squid Girl Season 2 until I watch the first one. I think that's everything. Yeah. It's everything. So I'm essentially watching, like, continuations of shit. Like, I'm not watching anything new that I haven't seen. Like, there will be no shock value in terms of crap, in terms of, like, shit except for Bakuman. Bakuman and working. And I'm probably going to review Bakuman anyway. Future Diary, maybe. Let's just see how much I can handle. And I believe that's everything. Because I believe this episode. Oh, wow. Yeah, this has been going for almost 25 minutes. I believe I have covered everything I wanted to talk about in terms of Fall Anime 2011 series. If there's any suggestions of other Fall 2011 series I should check out, leave them in the comments below. Um, what are your views and opinions on the newest shit? On, on, on the shows I've mentioned? Blue Exorcist, uh, Moir Pingo Drone, Mayo Chiki, and Manu. Uh, Ringo can, Ringo can go down at fire. I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't stand that chick. Um, I believe that's everything. So, this has been the vlogs again from your boy Terrell. And I'll catch you guys later. So, uh, what are you watching?